Hey guys, Winter here, and in today's video, I'll be showing you how to easily clear out GRE Dark Zones in Dying Light 2. GRE Dark Zones are challenge areas that provide a large amount of combat points and parkour points, but are mostly used to get GRE inhibitors. In Dying Light 2, GRE inhibitors are the most useful item in the game, permanently increasing your health, stamina, and infection rate. The easiest way to get GRE inhibitors is by finding them in these GRE dark zones. There are other ways to find GRE inhibitors, but right now we'll be focusing on GRE dark zones. The very first thing I'm going to say about GRE dark zones is that when the game says it's a nighttime activity, it is a nighttime activity. Do not go during the day. You will die. During the day, the GRE Dark Zone not only has more inhabitants, but the zombies inside are also awake. And while not inherently fatal, entering during the day will definitely diminish your healing supplies and your weapon's durability. Fortunately for us, the developers have placed a sleeping location and a respawn point roughly 100 meters outside each GRE Dark Zone location. That way, you won't ever have an excuse to not enter during the night. In addition to going at night, you have to make sure to be quiet. Stealth is the most important thing about raiding GRE Dark Zones and is the backbone of any successful raid. Always make sure to be crouching so that any sleeping zombies won't wake up or will wake up slower when you walk next to them. Finally, my last stealth tip is to make sure you have the knife takedown combat ability, as it instantly silences any zombie that you try and take down so it won't alert the others at the cost of a single knife. <laughs> Next, I want to talk about preparedness. Preparedness is key in every situation, and this is no exception. Make sure you have enough throwing knives and lockpicks. These are the two things I run out of constantly when I'm doing GRE Dark Zones, and it's the death of me. You just don't ever want to put yourself in a situation where you're going to take down a zombie and you realize you don't have a knife and then you get spotted. Or you're going to lockpick a crate or door and you realize you don't have any more lockpicks. This is exceptionally detrimental in online play, but it's not that bad in solo. Additionally, it's important to keep items on you such as immunity booster or UV shrooms to keep your immunity up, as there are multiple areas with chemical spills or just it'll take some time to safely move through the GRE dark zone. One small thing to talk about is that after every floor in the GRE dark zone, there's that little like small rest area out without any zombies that you just do a little platforming. Uh, in those areas, there's these locked doors that you can unlock to sort of save your progress. So if something comes up or you need to buy something at the store or you just quit the game, that way, when you enter from the top of the GRE dark zone, you can go down that, like, emergency stairwell and be right back where you were without having to go through the zombie floors again. You're about to turn. Get into the light fast. <laughs> Lastly, in rare situations, sometimes you don't need to be quiet if you can go fast. What I mean by this is, if you're about to get spotted, or you have been spotted, and the zombies aren't necessarily super close to you, if you're fast enough at lockpicking, you could probably get that door open, or get that crate open, just barely in time. I've had it work a few times for me, I've had it not work a few other times, it's just iffy on the situation and lock luck. Well, thank you everybody for watching. I've really been enjoying Dying Light 2. You know, the day it came out, that's all I did. I just played Dying Light 2 all day. But now, I've finally got a video out for it. I'd love to hear your video ideas, or if you have any questions in the comments, just 
just let me know. I'll do my best to answer them. Again, thank you everybody for watching. If you liked the video and you found it helpful in any way, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe. It really helps out. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. So see ya.